Hi friends, welcome to Light Out and another video. You will probably see some noises from outside. Just as I turn my camera on, my neighbor starts to use a circular saw, so what you gonna do? So as always I'm using my art journal, which is an old diary. So I have to tape my spine and use my gesso to get rid of the writing. Okay, this is dry now and I really want to try a technique I saw on the, I think, Facebook it was. I think I probably even shared it on my light art page. And it was a technique for pottery, but I was wondering if I could try it for canvas or art journal in this case. I think it will get really messy, so I'm gonna prepare a paper towel. And what you do is basically you mix color bubbles, which will make this beautiful marbled effect. So I'm gonna take my patina acrylic color in black, couple of drops of dish soap and a little bit of water. And this could be a total fail, but we won't know unless we try, right? So let's do it. And I never tried this before, so I'm not sure about the measurements, but I'll just try it and and we'll see what we'll get. Okay, and this will be really hard to show you, so I'm just gonna explain and then and probably do it off camera. I'm just gonna take a straw and I'm gonna blow into the mixture and try to blow the bubbles on the page and it should make a really pretty marble effect. And then you'll wait or pop them and wait for it to dry. I think I'm gonna have to dry them in between so it won't run all over the place. Okay, another try. The previous mixture was way too runny. I couldn't get it to stay on the page. In retrospect, I think it might stick better on just the plain paper. As I tried here. The gessoed surface is way too smooth for it to stick. So here I have just the paint and the dish soap and I'll try if it's gonna be better. So take two. Nope, not really. But it gives me some really pretty splatters. So maybe I'll use it somewhere else. So I'm just gonna go back to the previous one and just get through it. I'm not gonna film it because I suspect it's gonna be tedious but I'm gonna come back when it's done, okay? Well, I got something. It's really messy and not pretty but it's something. Plus, plus, I got a really nice manicure. Just kidding, it's a huge mess. So, a couple of tips. Definitely use container with bigger opening, use just a little water and 
try this on porous surface. Alright, I'm going with plan B, which is a whitewash. I'm going to push this in the background. If you want to see the technique, the lady did on the pottery. This is empty. Go to my light art Facebook page. It's linked down in the description and I shared her videos there. So how did you guys like my video hop? Talk about success, huh? I was so pleased with the results. I got like 80 new subbies, over a thousand and hundred views which made me really really happy and it was a lot of fun. I would never thought I could be part of something like this. I thought I was too small a channel to be a part of the hop. But as Shannon stated, they help even tiny little ones. So I was lucky enough to be a part of it. And people seem to really like the video. I got tons of thumbs up and lots of kind comments, so I'm really happy with that. Next step in my page is as always, when you don't know what to do, use a script stamp. I recently realized it was watercolor month, the July is watercolor month, so I'm gonna do something watercolory, but I know you don't really like my watercolor videos, because I always get like six views on them, <laughs> so I'm gonna do something a little different. I found this napkin the other day in town and I thought man I would really like to paint like this but I'm afraid it's not gonna happen anytime soon And another thing I found out, permanent ink won't be permanent on the surface where the soap is, so just so you know. So what do you think about this page? I think I did save it somewhat. The bubbles are not so visible, It's. I think it's okay, but I really love the napkin, so I do like this page, it's simple and painterly and I hope you like it too. Thank you so much for watching, please give me a thumbs up, share and comment if you like my videos and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I fail so you won't have to. Remember to be weird, it's so much fun and I'll see you next time, bye!